We are heading up to one of the newest EC that's going to reach its MOP within 5 minutes walking distance towards Canberra MRT station itself. And if you're looking for a patio unit 3 bidder that gives you lots of flexibility in terms of the configuration at a very attractive price point of $1.3 million, you want to be in an area where there's lots of transformation as well as a very solid exit plan. Join Proptim Brothers as we head up to this patio unit right here at Visionaire. Let's go! We are right now at Vision Air and just to give you a quick orientation in terms of where we are located, just about 400 meters or about 5 minutes walking distance that will bring you towards Canberra MRT station with a total floor area of 990 square feet that gives you lots of flexibility in terms of how you want to reconfigure the space. This is a 3 plus study layer and this EC just reached its MOP which also means that there's going to be a lot of price movement and if let's say you want to have a first mover advantage entering into a freshly MOP EC, then let us deep dive and share with you what's in it for you if you were to buy into this unit right here at Visionet. Now for 3 beta configuration, there are a few different categories. One is the 3 beta compact which is standing at about 850 square feet. Of course, for the 3 beta compact, it comes with an open kitchen as well as the third bedroom being the slightly smaller type of configuration. And as you move on to the larger type of configuration, that will be the 3 beta premium. In terms of the overall size, that will usually be bigger, standing above 1030 square feet. With a bigger square footage, that also comes with the addition of the WC, the yard area, store area. And of course, that will also translate to a higher price quantum. Now, now last but not least will be the 3 plus study configuration which is the unit that we are standing at today at 990 square feet. And for this particular 3 plus study where you want to have the study configuration right behind the living hall area and if you were to pull out the entire set plan you have only a few different stacks and if let's say you want to have a stack that is non-west facing unit then this is the only stack that you are looking at. So all in all if let's say you're looking for a 3 bidder yet you want to have the flexibility in terms of the overall configuration you want to keep the price quantum palatable at this very sweet spot and you're a ground floor lover that enjoys this kind of privacy where you have a big lawn area just right in front of you not a lot of people that walk past then this is probably the unit that you are looking for but in the meantime why don't we bring you out towards this patio space first and just to let you have a sense of the space In terms of the patio space, it's a big enough space for you to utilize this entire area. Zip track as well as invisible grill and decking has been done. And just to bring your attention towards this decking, all these are done quite strategically so that it allows you to still open up the gate, have the flexibility to have this decking that is at the same level as the entire living hall area. You can potentially use this as your dining space or you can just simply lounge over here. What the owners have done is that they have positioned the washer and dryer to be right outside at the patio space. I think this is such a great space for you and your family to enjoy and especially when you are fronting towards a very private area. Storage space have also been allocated towards this corner and in the event that you are hosting family members or friends or guests, you can just open up this space and you have a good mix of indoor as well as outdoor space, especially when fans as well as lights all been done. For your privacy, if let's say you know you do not want to disturb your neighbours, you want to be a very friendly neighbour, you can just close down the zip track and all the activities can be contained within this area. Right from the moment you enter into this space, this is where you have your shoe cabinets. And if let's say you prefer this kind of configuration where you enter the door, you're not fronting towards the balcony, then you might like this kind of layout where you have a bit of privacy, even though you're on the ground floor units. And along this entire wall line is your massive storage cabinets. I think there are easily 10 over storage cabinets doors for you to chuck away all your clutters right over here. So you can utilize this because carpentry have all been done. So you can just simply buy over this place, just change out your TV. And I think you're all set to go for the living hall area. Vinyl flooring has been cladded on. Right over at this segment is where the dedicated dining space is. You can either just utilize this space. Otherwise, if let's say you do not want this, you can also have the option to position your dining table right at the patio space.
You're gonna head in towards the kitchen first. You have storage cabinets right over here. Very rarely do we find a 990 square feet configuration that allows you to have this huge two-door fridge to be positioned over here. But if let's say you do not need such a big fridge space, of course you can also allocate some space for your storage. Storage cabinets at the top as well. As you head in, this is where you have your double galley kitchen. Some of the things that has been changed out is this induction cooker as well as the backsplash, just again to give off the different look and feel. Oven have also been provided for by developers. Cabinets at the top and bottom, left and right. So you have ample of storages in the kitchen area as well as ample meal prep space. And as we head on towards the tail end of the kitchen, this is where you can have the flexibility to either have the washing machine right here. Otherwise right now, this is a comfortable space for you to put in your dishwasher. And uh, most importantly, you have the ventilation window right over here. You even have the yard area with this laundry rack has also been done. Last but not least, you have this sliding door for you to keep away all your smoke and fumes when you're doing heavy cooking. As we move on towards the living hall space, big enough for you to fit in a three-seater sofa set. Very good distance from the sitting area towards the TV console. So this is such a great space for you to enjoy. Of course, this will lead you towards the patio space where we were at earlier on. Now coming to the study, lots of flexibility can be done. You can either really just utilize this as a study like what our owners have done. Otherwise, if let's say you have friends or family or guests coming over, you can also utilize this as a guest room or you can position this as a utility room or your helper's room. I think having this flexi space also gives rise to a lot of opportunity. Otherwise, with the window right behind, you can really just expand this as a huge living hall. On to the very first common bedroom. Right now, the current setup is two single beds stacked side by side. Of course, all these are some of the platform cabinets that our owner have put in. Because these are not fixtures, so these can easily be removed without affecting the flooring. And with ease of opening up your wardrobe space to really retrieve your items. And most importantly, you also have this greenery right over here. This greenery will also give you some level of privacy. We're gonna head in and check out the master first because this master is extremely comfortable. We have a king size bit with a small bit right at the corner. Now for this master, this is currently built as a fixture so this will be here to stay and right at the back is where you have even more storage space and various wood lighting have also been installed right here at the masters. You even have a dedicated space for your dresser for the wardrobe that has already been tucked behind the wall line. So this gives you a very squarish layout and this is also the same facing as the common bedroom as well as a patio space. So for Visioner, we are within walking distance to all these amenities. Of course, once we reach towards the Canberra MRT station, that's where you have Canberra Plaza, where you have your amenities such as the supermarket, NTUC, and some of the F&B outlets right over there. On the other side, Bukit Canberra, just from the side gate, within walking distance, that is where you can find the largest active SG gym, swimming pools, polyclinics, wide array of hawker food, as well as amenities, also within a short throw away. And just a few stops down there will bring us to a Thompson East Coast line. That is, of course, the newest MRT line that is already up and and running and with the north south corridor within just a short driving distance away that will definitely increase your connectivity and because Canberra is such a new town hub you also have the addition of three primary school education zones that is within 1km <laughs> And last but not least, we can't emphasize more in terms of the exit plan. Now, the very first thing is whether do you have sufficient HDB upgraders that might potentially buy into your unit. And other than the Canberra BTO cluster that is located towards this portion, uh, where you have a ready pool of buyers, you also have another two new HDB clusters that is right within the vicinity. And of course, all these will then form part of your new buyer's pool by the time that you choose to exit few years down the road. The next key metric that we want to take a look at is in terms of the new launch pricing, just right beside us, that is where you have Commodore as well as Water Gardens. Now these two projects in terms of the 3 bidder configuration that has already been transacted in a new sale market that is currently hitting at about 1,500 odd PSF and uh, you are still currently enjoying a very healthy disparity between our asking price of 1,003 towards the new transacted price at 1,005. Naturally, for this 1,005 entry price, once it hit the resale market, that might widen towards 1,800 PSF and you will then get to enjoy at about 5 
five to six hundred PSF of price disparity, which will definitely allow you to have the level of buffer should you choose to exit few years down the road. Muscle on Suite is very comfortable in terms of the overall size, the standing shower area, your huge ventilation window, WC, storage cabinets at the top and bottom, as well as this sink right here with ample of countertop space for you to store all your items. As we head in towards the very third and last bedroom, where currently it is being fitted with a single. Of course, if let's say you want to expand towards the queen size configuration, you can still do so. And you see a space for you to open up your wardrobe, which are all sliding door in nature. Last but not least, towards the common bar, quite similar setup where you have the sink as well as storage cabinets at the top and bottom, WC, and your standing shower with ventilation window that is right behind. If you pull out the map itself, you'll also notice that there are two empty ends. Uh, all these are currently being zoned as a residential. This will definitely boost up the entire value right over here in the vicinity. Be it a HDB cluster or a private condo cluster because having a HDB cluster also means that you have a potential buyer's pool. Alternatively, if let's say it's going to be designated as an EC plot or a private condo plot, that will also again set a higher pricing benchmark. And if let's say you want to talk about longevity, Vision Air is currently the newest EC to hit its MOP, which shows means that you have a much longer runway and again if let's say you want to leverage on the first mover advantage typically what we see in terms of the pricing movement in new EC is that if you are first to enter you will definitely be entering at this pricing benchmark and naturally due to the new price point that has already been launched the price will gradually move up and this still allows you to be able to enter as well as exit with confidence if you want to buy in a freshly MOP EC. Now if let's say you're kind of considering hey which free bidder should I be going for especially to towards this camera area where you have few options, you have brownstone. For brownstone, slightly smaller units are uh, compact version at about 800 odd square feet. Average asking price is ranging between 1.25 to 1.28 million dollars. Slightly further away from the MRT station such as Canberra residences as well as Nautica. For three bedders size at about 900 odd square feet, average asking price is about 1.25 to 1.3 million dollars. Last but not least for our units right here at Vision Air for three bedders at the ground floor units where you have this configuration. We are going at a very attractive price point of 1.3 million dollars placing the ESF to be at 1,300 odd dollars range Other than all the play facilities that you and your family as well as the kids can get to enjoy, of course, you also have the work segment within uh, Vision Air where you have various rooms for you to utilize for your work purpose. And of course, this can free up the space right here. If you choose to work over there, I think there's a really a lot of facilities you really need to come by and uh, have a physical look of the entire facilities. Same one, same one. When it come to chats, we don't take none. Take Bad man, Jamaica. Trinity global sensation. And just to give you a quick recap for this unit standing at 990 square feet where the owners pump in close to about 40 over thousand dollars in terms of the overall renovation and if you are a ground floor lover you enjoy the space right outside with lots of privacy no west sun sitting on a quiet area within walking distance to the mrt station set amidst all the major transformation as well as having this very healthy price disparity comparing with the new launches as well as a really pull of buyers from the hdb upgraders if you like what you see do feel free to get in touch with our listing team we'll be happy to show you the physical viewing, come by, get a feel of a space and to enjoy these great facilities right here. And if you like our content, do click on the like and subscribe button, subscribe to our various channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. My name is George Payne from Property and Brothers, always happy to show you the place. And uh, other than all the, and other than the camera, and other than the camera, and now all these two projects, now these two projects and uh, of course all these are great safe space. And of course, all these are great safe speed as well as um, ample of as well as ample as well as ample meal meal prep space. And uh, this is of course built with uh, fixtures. And of course, this is built with and this platform is now for this master. This is now for the master. This platform is currently a fixture. 